guys, welcome back. This is part two of the live foot video. Now, in the first part, we were breaking it down out of the box, and I want to bring attention to a few things. First of all, some people have asked, how much power does it draw? You ready for this? 0.4 amps under constant use. That is so little, such a small amount. I hook mine straight into the back of mine. It goes on my uh, cranking battery. Amazing. Very little power draw. That's important because a lot of people think, man, this thing up here is going, that's more stuff to draw. There's no, there's no uh, huge amount of power. 0.4 amps is nothing. Uh, it's, un, it's, you know, you can't even hardly discern it. But <clears throat> secondly, excuse me there. Secondly, in, on the mount, which I will point out in just a few minutes, it also has an, uh, an adapter where you can add a Humminbird 360 if you have and, you know, do so, you know, do so wish to add that on there. So you can just take your 360 and mount it on the same mount and not have to have another mount. That's awesome. They have paid so much attention to cutting down the weight, but increasing the durability. Now that's hard to do because when you're trying to cut down weight and then, but you're also trying to increase durability, you're, you have to really take attention, pay attention to how things are machined, um, the, how things are built and how things are engineered. But here's what we're gonna tell about. The, first of all, the carbon fiber pole, you know how strong carbon fiber is, but also how light it is. The mount is almost, uh, it, it's machined, it's a universal mount, it allows adjustment, which is amazing. Now this is the generation two. It will be available in a few weeks. Uh, it's not out yet, but I want to get the information out there because I'm telling you right now, live foot, it, it's the way to go. It, it's, it is the best that's ever been built. I know you heard about the new, the hummingbird thing out there. Look at their, look at their construction. It will not touch this. This is the way to go. Um, so it'll be out in a few weeks. It's the generation two. You're going to love this. This is the way to go, but let's get in here and take a, a, a really a close look. We're going to listen to the sound of it. You know, how much noise it makes. We're going to take a look at the key fob. We're going to take a look at the pedals. I mean, we're going to take a look at the mount and adjust a bit. We're going to do it all. Let's go. All right, guys, here it is mounted. Oh, it's just such a beautiful mount. Uh, everything looks great. Um, I'm going to first, we're going to start right here with the actual, this is a universal mount. Uh, it fits all the brands that they have out there. Very adjustable. You can adjust, you can unscrew this right here. Okay. And I'm not going to go crazy with it, but you can move this mount to get it to the place you want to get it and, and mount it the way you want to mount it. Uh, the tray, it, it's just beautifully machined. It's lightweight, but it's strong. The box is contained. There is no 3D printing on this. Um, the top is lit. It's got two LEDs up under here that light a green indicator up here. You can see it. We're in bald daylight. Look at that. Beautiful. Love that. Another thing, it has an on-off power button. I like that. It, it's, it's something that, it, that is not available on other units. And I love the fact that you could turn it on and off. Here's your pairing button. If something were to come unpaired or if you get a new, uh, if you get a new remote or something like that, it comes with a key fob. It comes with two foot pedals over there. We'll go look at those in a minute, but we're gonna look, see we got a carbon fiber pole. They're super light. The two poles fit inside of each other. This is how you adjust it. Look at this. You just loosen that up, down, and then squeeze it back and it's perfectly tight. Now, I have decided to use the provided, uh, the provided DD26 mount as of right now. Now, what I love about this mount, and it's very well designed, this is forward mode. If I wanna switch it to perspective, now pay attention to the direction. There, I'm doing this one-handed. So I'm doing this one-handed. You're sliding this in, hold on, I'm getting it in there. There we go. Now it's in perspective mode. Now the problem is, is it's 90 degrees off because forward facing this way and perspective is now facing that way. All you do, loosen this and turn it. I'm not gonna loosen it because I don't want it to fall to the ground. But you loosen it and now it's lined up. 
It's beautiful. We're in perspective mode. It's got a great angle on it. I do love that. Um, but another thing, and this is what I love about it. Listen to how quiet it is. This is up close. I'm going to put it right there. You hear that? You almost cannot hear it up close. But let's get back a few feet to where the pedals are. First, let's point out the pedals. These are power pole type pedals. Uh, the, you, everybody's real familiar with them. They're a little smaller. I have mine mounted like this. I found some old holes over there uh, from the old power poles. But listen to the unit from over here. The only thing you hear right there, buddy, is the push of that button. That is the beauty of this design. They have concentrated on being durable, light. It only draws 0.4 amps. When you, when you do install one thing, like I said, make sure we have this perfectly lined up with the back of the boat to allow the full turning of the unit. The unit will turn about 185 degrees both directions. It is amazing. I love it. It's very easy to hook up. It's one cord with a with a you know positive and a negative. Very easy to hook up. Very durable. And what I love is just how lightweight it is. It has not affected how heavy the trolling motor is. I mean, there it is. I'm picking that up. That's and that's one of the things that the other ones are just so dead gum heavy. So the mount looks great. The carbon fiber pole almost indestructible anything is you can destroy and break anything so don't come and say well your ship is indestructible it's not in anything is in, but if it's more durable than aluminum or pvc or steel i guarantee you on that that's what carbon fiber is made for strength with a light ratio is you know the strength to weight ratio is unreal so and then you can add in like i said the 360 it'll mount up here too if you have a 360 it'll mount onto this same mount so you're keeping everything light you're keeping everything compact as you possibly can with everybody today they want that extra unit on the boat but this is great i love it and this will be out in a few weeks um so and here's the great thing you can use my name uh randy carpenter and get free shipping on the device how awesome is that that's for the guru nation baby guys so I hope you see just how excited I am about that. I had to get out of that sun, man. It is burning up hot over there. Um, they've worked so hard on it. And I know somebody's going to say, you know, you, you were all about Live Scanner. And I, a Live Scanner was a decent unit. And I liked it. And I gave it away. And I hope the guy enjoys it. But it was heavy. It is a little bit louder and noisier. And it got the job done. But the, when I, I took a client that had this on his boat, and I immediately started trying to figure out what we had to do to get one of these on our boat. Because this right here, there has never been a motorized pole that's built better. I know you. some of the guys will say something about the new Humminbird stuff. It ain't built that durable. It doesn't have a carbon fiber pole. And it, it's, not run, it, it's, not, it's just not built with that in mind. They built this with strength and durability. You're running across a lake, you're not gonna tear it off. And the live scanner, the heads broke off quite often. Uh, when you were in rougher water. This has no 3D printing, um, so it's a lot different. The designs have been upgraded, and they are the originators. Terry Vance and Blitz Lures are the originators. And also, you should check out Terry Vance also. He's got Blitz Lures. He's got some pretty pretty nice stuff there, too. And uh, DD26, of course, you already know them. Brandon Polinook's in with them. But how can you? how else can you beat... And DD26 is going to make sure that their, their stuff comes out and it's amazing. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Remember all the points, the talking points. We're going to put these in the video in the description below because you need to see those. But guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Ring the bell.